chapter two. Hey, check us in, we live, see? All right, Shalom. This is GMS Louisiana Saints New Orleans camp with another live lesson. But before we get started, as always, we're going to give all praises, glory, and infinite honors to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekah Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. And peace and salutations to you, sincere Akim out there, pushing this word of truth and sincerity to the four corners of the globe. May you brothers endure until the end. Shalom. Shalom. And hey, hey brothers, brothers, and uh, doing videos right now on the, on the topic of the hour. This whole situation going on in Ukraine. You got, you got all the news coming out with the bombings, shooting soldiers and all that. But hey, while we're excited to see these things take place, this isn't the time to be popping champagne bottles yet. We know that this is, we know that uh, the true World War III we're waiting for is going to be in the Middle East, in the Valley of Jehoshaphat. And that's going to happen after that karagma, that MOTB in Revelation 13 verses 16 to 18 is mandatorily implemented. They, still, regardless, these are exciting things that are taking place because we know that this is just another stepping stone towards our salvation. What have you got Biden talking about? Throwing up sanctions now, possible cyber attacks on Russia. The price of oil is going to go up due to this situation. They're talking about uh, more disruptions in the supply chains, all that. And all this, all these things are going to come to the United States of America. You've already got the, the, the gas the, the, the gasoline prices going up, the food shortages coming. Hey, nobody's exempt. But we have the, the, the understanding and the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And that's going to be our knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to get us through these times to come. And we're just going to get straight into it. This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 6. It says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Hey, they've been talking about uh, something popping off in Ukraine for the longest time, a rumor of war. And then would you have Russia go in and and doing what they're doing? And then when you got the Syrian civil war that happened, the Libyan civil war, the war in Iraq and all that. But it said, uh, see that you be not troubled for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Hey, the end's not yet. Like I just said, we got to wait for that karagma to hit. Then that's when that real World War III is going to pop off. But you are going to have skirmishes here and there. But, uh, yeah. This is what... Shit, I lost my train of thought. You want to have skirmishes? Yeah, yeah. skirmishes. And, but again, the end, the end is not yet. We still got other 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 prophecies to be fulfilled. Yeah, because this again, this is the beginning of sorrows, which I'm gonna read down, and uh, you know, in this chapter, man, which which pinpoints that prophecy is accurate, man. All right, it's right on schedule. Because again, certain things have to be implemented prior to the, the the third world. All right, coming to pass. All right, which we have the thorough understanding of, with through the spirit of Yahweh, while Yahweh shy, we have been given it through our elder and apostles all the way down to you know the younger men all right we have an understanding that prophecy has an order with it man all right if the lord have put everything in order why wouldn't prophecy be in order man all right concerning the times but again uh a wicked and adulterous generation seeking a sign but there shall be no sign but the sign of the prophets and again another thing to point out the prophecy is still speaking we know when the destruction is happening the prophet's not going to be speaking so that's another X to let you know, all right, what time that we in. The prophets are still on the highways and byways speaking. So we know the end is not yet. All right. You know, there's a lot of prophecies that prove and point that it's not the end, but it's the end. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Keep going on. It's kind of, it says, for nation shall rise against nation like that. and kingdom against kingdom. You're seeing that yeah. with, with China versus the U.S., uh, Russia versus the U.S., the Ukraine versus Russia. You've got uh, America, China and, China and Taiwan. You've got America and its European allies up in arms over this whole situation. You just had uh, the U.S. You know, they bullied Germany into doing it to, to not allow it to, to cut off the Nord Stream 2 pipeline, which was a big thing between Russia and Germany because Russia, I mean, Germany gets a lot of its energy, energy and natural gases from Russia that Nord Stream 2 pipeline was going to help them out even more. But again, the U.S. bullied Germany. 
into shutting that down with Russia. So what's that going to lead to? The, the ten horns upon the beast starting to hate the whore because these European allies of, of the U.S. are constantly having to deal with the blowback from uh, from America's actions. They're always the ones that, that uh, what, you had the, the refugee crisis from the, the Libyan and Syrian civil war, which had all the refugees going to Europe and the U.S. didn't have to deal with it. The U.S. is, again, uh, bullying Germany to shut off the Nord Stream 2 pipeline, which ain't going to affect the U.S. because the U.S. doesn't get the majority of its natural gas and energy resources from Russia. It's going to be Germany and these other European Union nations. And, and hey, everything is, is working perfectly as our apostle elders had preached from the beginning. That's, and we were just going to stand firm and, and stand upon our watch and keep preaching it until until the missiles hit, until the fame of the word hits. It says, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. And we can see the famines are coming with, uh, again, the, the food shortages. It's to the point where you've got some Walmarts putting little cages with sensors on meat because people are stealing it. The supply chain disruptions are still going on. You still got port. You still got uh, cargo ships stuck. Off of, off of the east and the west coast of the United States of America not bringing things in, and then earthquakes are happening damn near daily. If you just look at one of the little earthquake watches, earthquakes are happening as we speak right now. Keep going. It says, all these are the beginning of sorrows. The beginning of sorrows. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And we're no, we'll know when we're really cooking, when that karagma is mandatorily implemented. That's when we know that our, our salvation is at hand. But until then, these are all beautiful signs we're seeing taking place. But hey, don't don't get don't be popping the champagne bottles just yet. There's still many prophecies that need to take place before the end of this place truly comes. And lest we forget, the persecution has to come as well. I was just watching a video the other day that Elder Yashawamba did on this new uh, Christian documentary coming out called Unbroken, where you got a bunch of jakes in there uh, talking about how a lot of so-called black people israelites are leaving the christian church and how they what they can do to combat that and try to get people back into the church and the video ended with a clip of some uh, some jakes from sakari saying kwam yasharala kwam yasharala kwam yasharala so you already know what time it is demonizing this truth and then of course you had the government come out with these new measures pretty much saying anybody that talks about a so-called conspiracy theory can be labeled a domestic terrorist so on top of the famines, the earthquakes, the wars and rumors of wars, there's the persecution of the men of the Lord coming, as well as the famine of the word. Keep going in that, uh, you can go down to uh, verse 14. It says, Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Hey, that, that persecution coming on the men of the Lord for preaching this word. And we know as pursuant to Revelation chapter 20, some of us will be martyrs. Some of us will be uh, beheaded for not uh, bowing down to the beast, receiving his mark or worshiping his image. These are all the times we're coming into. And these are all the times we've been preaching about for years. Hey, it's about to go from the practice to the actual game. Everybody's having to gonna have to stand in their life. There's no more standing on the side or, or being a, a fence sitter. It's no more being a lukewarm. You either got to be fully hot for this thing or fully cold. Okay. This is Rock 37 and 7. It says, Rest in Yahweh and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospered in his way, because of the man who bringing wicked devices to pass. Con, con. Hey, we know as pursuant to Isaiah 59 that the enemy is going to come in like a flood. Con. What's it also say? That's when the Most High is going to set up that standard to protect us. Hey, these 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 uh these uh calamities are going out, and we're about to go through some rough waves. But hey, that's when the that's when the miracle you you can't forget the flip side of that coin. The miracles coming as well, right. spiritual powers, and really seeing the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, keeping his end of the bargain, protecting his men as we kept the bar end of the bargain, preaching his word out here. Hey. Did not the earth help the woman once before fleeing Roman persecution? Mm -hmm. Well, expect expect the same to happen, man. Because the Lord always going to make a way for the righteous. Did not Yahweh shall preach that uh, uh, that we shall flee 
uh, uh, Judea during the time of the Roman persecution prior to it happening, that it was going to come down. All right. That was, again, that was the way that the earth held the woman, man. The woman, which was Israel. And remember, the remnant was living then. All right. So the remnant is living now. Shit, so expect the, the help again. Shit, it was the remnant that went into the west coast of Africa, Africa. and populated there and then get, <laughs> got brought into America for slavery. Yeah. But as the brother was saying, Yahawashai told him to flee those times during yeah. 70 AD. Yeah. And hey, we're spiritually fleeing now. Arise yeah. and depart, but this is not your rest. We're, we're fleeing spiritually from the ways of America in this world. And Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah is going to set up that standard to protect us. Only thing this time, we're not going to be able to run from here. There's nowhere to run. We can't run back to Jerusalem. There's nowhere to run. So the Lord wants us to trust and believe that running he's going to save us, man. Running into the shadow of the wings in Psalm 91, man. man we're going to get we're this on. Running to the strong, the name, uh, the, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous running into it and it's safe. That don't mean you take out running and you see the name of the Lord, man. You know? This that is, don't mean that. You got it. This is our refuge. Come. The, the, the scripture, refuge. the knowledge and wisdom that will be the understanding of our times. And as it says, and I'm going to get a precept too, as it says in Romans chapter 15, everything written before time was written for our learning. This is a Sirach 2 in the Apocrypha, verse 10. Look at the generations of old. Everything written before time was written for our learning. And see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? And this is this is our our, our, our tower that we're fleeing into. And you've got a whole host of examples of our forefathers getting put into rough ways and situations. But what they do? Calling Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and we're saved out of it. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in that fiery furnace. Daniel in the lion's den. A, a Peter in the prison. The Apostle Paul. And the list goes on and on. I want to say something too because. What you also see is it's prophecies uh basically on uh on 10 man you got so-called pastors coming out trying to proclaim prophecy now and talking about the beast talking about uh god and may god right but the elder apostles have been doing this for years and years when have you ever heard a pastor talking about like i'm talking about everyday christian pastor talking about god and may god Unless they're, they're watching the apostles man they're watching the men of the lord bring these things up they don't know they still butcher it right it's, it's it's to the point where also these these everyday talking heads these anchors these news anchors they know what's going on so what they're actually calling uh russia the bear russia is set for this point of time too right because what, what you're saying now is russia actually being people are actually on the news uh youtube twitter saying that the hooks have been put in their jaws where they learn that from where they learn that terminology of uh, Russia has the hooks in it, uh, meaning, meaning turn it into that Soviet Union state of mind. And they also, uh, Putin came out and said that's what his goal is, to go back to the ways of the Soviet Union. Their heyday, when it was when it was most predominantly strong, man. So we here. Like I said, we've been, we, we, down here, we've been basically uh, pushing that energy out too. We ain't no more coming into it. At the door of it, no, we in the midst of it yeah, now, man. Yeah. Right? It's not this prophecy's not far off. They're here. You're living in them. Go ahead, I'll keep reading in Matthew 24. But as the elder brother was saying, hey, you didn't hear this from Joel Olstein, you didn't hear it from Creflo Dollar, T D Snakes, any of them. You heard it, even though you don't acknowledge it, from the apostles and elders of GMS all the way down to the brothers pushing this word from one end of the earth even into the other. And with the fact that you're starting to hear uh, uh, preachers and, and, and priests and pastors and all that start to try to break down scriptures or you hear in the news, they say the bear or the hooks going into the jaws. What is that? That's Zephaniah, us getting praise and fame everywhere we are. They say nukes now, they say, they say World War III. All right, you got, there's another guy. I gotta, I gotta you know, show you, brother. There's another guy, man, he just, he got he got the he got the music playing and he he just getting the last toast because he know this place going man the average so-called either my here in america that's in the know all right on uh on worldly news they already know that america is done man all right that's why they got the they got they, they got the can goods they got all the, the weaponry ready and they, and they know it's gonna happen you're looking for a cyber attack you're looking for things to actually go down here this is gonna go down here too and they you best believe 
next attack that they do here in America, they're gonna blame it on who? The new we well, always been the boogeyman of Russia. They're gonna blame the boogeyman, Russia. Mm-hmm. Gonna give them reason to do certain things that they want to do, man. All right. Go ahead. Huh? I'm gonna check it out. Okay. Yeah, uh, verse two. Okay, okay. This is Matthew chapter twenty-four, verse ten. And they sh- and then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. Hey, and that's coming too. One people rising up against another people with swords in their hands, sedition among men, a hey, race wars, the nations rising against nations, civil wars, which you can see uh, it's at a boiling point in the United States of America. People are going to be fighting in the streets, fighting in the stores for what's left of, of these food from these, uh, uh, left of food from these famines and breaking into each other's houses. Hey, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall spoil his house with the force of the sword due to the lack of bread. Before I before I linked them with these brothers, I was in the store. And you can tell these people are already on that time. People are just fucking rude out here. Somebody can see you clearly need to get past the way, and you got to loudly say, oh, excuse me. And they won't get out of the way. These people are on edge and, and just brutes out here, and they des- and you all deserve everything that's coming your way. It's going to be beautiful to see people fight and kill each other. And you would be like that, too, if the meat was $7 yesterday, now it's $33, man. We told you. What you expect? Man, the Lord told you so. Yeah. Going back to 07, 08, when this was coming out, you, you laughed at it. You laughed at it, man. You thought we was bullshitting and playing, going crazy. Now it's here, man. All right? Time proves all things, man. And we're in a time where it's been proven that the men of the Lord has been before you people. Give me Jeremiah 20. All right. Put that. And, they, and it's gonna go up some more, man. All right. Russia, this 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 this, this war that's happening over here with Russia and the Ukraine is gonna allow prices to go up even more. And we we happy about it, man. Uh-huh. You niggas don't need to be on the road driving. The hell with you, man. A lot of you drive but anyway, man. Mm-hmm. Right? A lot of you, a lot of you motherfuckers, you don't buy groceries anyway. You buy scrap meals any goddamn way. You don't need no goddamn meat. Fuck you. Uh-huh. Go get some canned goods, man. Eat some beans, man. Uh-huh. This is just to back you up. Hey, every 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 you're gonna see that everything we've been preaching is gonna to come to pass, and that what we we were the prophets of the Most High at the end of the day, as it says in Ezekiel 33. And when these things shall come to pass, and lo, it will come, then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. And what's the message we've been preaching? What we're preaching right now: death, destruction, misery, famine, rape world war nuclear war pestilences and all that uh should we can we can read that jeremiah 28 and then we can finish it off in matthew 24. come on this is jeremiah chapter 28 verse eight eight the prophets that have been before men before the of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old, everything written aforetime was written for our learning. And what did the prophets of old prophesy about? The prophet which oh, they of old prophesied both against many countries, yep. prophesying against the United States of America, wow. Russia, China, the state of Israel, these European nations, and against great kingdoms of war, World War Three, the War of Armageddon, the Battle in the Valley of Jehoshaphat. And of evil and of pestilence. Yeah, the same thing as in Matthew 24. Exactly. <laughs> that we're going to go back to. This, yeah, that. this was Jeremiah. And then when you go to Matthew, it's, it matches up. Uh, uh, there's no way to get around it, man. And they lived in different eras. And, and what? It, yeah. goes, it went from Jeremiah to Matthew to the men of the Lord today, preaching the same, same thing. thing of the prophets of old. It says, the prophet which prophesied of peace. When the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord had truly sent them. Hey, and we can see that these prophets talking about peace and prosperity and, and riding off into the sunset and marrying people and taking cruise liner ship vacations. And we can see everything they've been saying is not coming to pass. America's not coming back. The dollar's not coming back. This ain't going to go back to the 90s. Yeah. Nothing good is coming to these times. And if anybody's telling you otherwise, oh, the economy's going to bounce back. Hey, inflation is just temporary. All that, hey, that's that's a, a false prophet. That's a P-R-O-F-I-T prophet. That's not a true prophet that's preaching of the things that 
thus saith Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And it's not good news for you people, but it's good news for us that it, that it fled unto this strong watchtower in the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yeah, the paradigm shift is real. All right, it's a shift of destruction. All right, chaos, evil. That it speaks about that in Proverbs that the day of the Lord shall be what? Evil. Dark, gloomy, cloudy. For what is the day to you? Do yet in Jeremiah the people say, uh, where's the word of the Lord? Let it come now. All right, they still talking about the walls in the house like it's not here. But now you hear the murmuring amongst the people, regular everyday people going on rants on TikTok, talking about, you know, this is the end. Weed up. That Uber uh, driver. The Uber driver, you know, talking about the propaganda that's going on, but it's really a bigger deal than that. All right, you got everyday Joe Blows telling saying what's going on man saying that the karagma is what the implantable the chocolate chip god you you people in louisiana just need to shut the hell up <laughs> you motherfuckers 25 30 years behind man <laughs> on what's going on in the world you just need to shut the hell up and, and buckle up for the ride man yeah because the bulk of you gonna just fucking die anyway man you dicks a lot of these cages black creole wanna be motherfuckers you just gonna die man so just shut the hell up when it comes to worldly worldly events man it's, you niggas worry about Mardi Gras, man. That's all you worry about. Mardi Gras going on, worry about that. Yeah, That's it, man. And live it up. Because uh, with the way things are looking, yeah, this could very well be your last Mardi Gras. And it, and Lord will it is, man. Nah. So, hey, you'll be catching beats today, but you'll be catching bullets tomorrow. That's, catching a missile. <laughs> that's going to be more important to them anyways. Yeah, they is looking at Ukraine, but once the big parade come up with the Endymion or whatever coming up, Hey, they gonna forget about it, right? Huh? They got the, the they gonna forget chaos about it. going on today. <laughs> they got the crew of chaos going on today. That's the name of the parade. Yeah. Uh, but Jake don't, don't these type of things don't it don't click in Jake's head, man. No bells go off. Like he said, everybody getting ready for the Endymion parade here. But this is where the home of the you know the Mardi Gras is, is, is celebrated at its peak. All right, but everybody getting ready for this weekend is this weekend, right? Everybody getting ready for this this weekend parades going into Next Fat week. Tuesday. All right, all those parades coming in is really the most wickedest. Wicked, we're all of it is wicked, but it's at its at its peak, right? Yeah. Then you you got you got Fat Tuesday with Mike, bro. Yeah. You niggas, you niggas in blow rides. You niggas that got your back blown out, shoulder titties, <laughs> got drunk, slept on the concrete. You niggas have done so much on Tuesday, and then you gonna go to Ash Wednesday, yeah. go to back to church, and back get, to and get ashes for you for the Ash Cross. Your goddamn, you niggas are some of the biggest hypocrites, man. The God. biggest goddamn devils, man. Better you, you so called Christians, all right. But I had one too, uh, going into, going into uh, Isaiah 13. I just want to hit the points real fast. Just two real points, really one point, or two points. And uh, Isaiah 13 4 it said, In the noise of a noise mountain, a noise of a Multitude in the mountains, like as a great people, the tremendous noise of the kingdom of nations gathered together, the Lord of the host must the host of the battle, which we're seeing. Mm -hmm. All right? We're seeing the, the, the muster of the host of the battle being instigated by who? The Most High. The Most High made Putin get tired of Ukraine talking talking shit and threats, man, and pulled up on their ass. Now they're now they getting it on, man. All right? Hey, as it says in Proverbs 21, the king's heart or mind is in the hand of the most high and he moveth it whatsoever he will the most high moving all his chess pieces in play to fulfill prophecy yeah, you can tell the most high playing on Putin mind that ain't look like he just programmed yeah he looked like he looked like the lord didn't dealt with him last night and came up to on the podium today man to speak his shit. He, and he talking big shit too yeah hey put Putin even started to start referencing scriptures and shit. Not referencing scriptures, but talking about spirituality. He's like, the difference between us and America is when they die, we know we're going to heaven. <laughs> Saying shit like that. And then and then they had an orchestra sing a song, like a Russian orchestra. And they said, when the nuclear submarines shoot missiles at Norfolk, which is a major military base in Virginia, in the US, when they shoot missiles while they sleep, while the, and they said this in the video, while the niggers sleep, the fire's gonna burn them up. <laughs> Yeah. through the spirit he know he the best you know through the spirit yeah. he know that you know according to scriptures how things is playing now he understand that russia gonna be one of the main targets that actually you know tell america ass up they know that man then they sit at the round table with these elites who also know it as well man they understand that they're gonna destroy america yeah, you got get it. the scriptures broke down by the magi's man. yeah the warlocks and witches break it out break the scriptures down for them man yeah on the left hand the only thing 
they tell them that they're going to they come, they're going to be the next world power, they're going to make it. They tell them that shit, which they've been to see. Yeah. Which when we're in the righteous, the Lord tell us that they ain't going to make it, man. Right. That they, that the, 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 uh, the elect is going to become the next world, uh, world rulers. It's in the scriptures, man. Hey, I'm going to jump down to nine real if fast. I, if I can say real quick, hey, one, one of you brothers out there, hey, Abarat Desire, hey, we're of that, that elect number, you're that elect number. Yeah, when we get those spiritual powers and start going after where these elites are hot, you could very well go to be be the lucky one to hit that bunker with Putin in it. And look at Putin in there shaking. <laughs> yeah, man. This is uh, verse 9. It says, Behold, the day of the Lord come in crew, both for wrath and fierce anger, to live the land desolate. He shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it, man. By what? That nuclear fire. But leading up to that nuclear fire, what? The, the famines, the pestilences. The race war, civil war, martial law, world war, all that. I got, I got some more. Verse 10. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give its light. And the sun shall be darkened and it's going forth. And the moon shall cause her light to shine. My bad. And the moon shall not cause her light to shine. All right. This, this is one of the points too. It says, and I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and will lay the land, what about, and will lay, lay low the haughty of the terrible. Ah. Hey, the, the law, as it says in Isaiah, the lofty looks of the proud will be brought low, and only Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai will be exalted in that day. All these people pump faking out here and having that that proud spirit on they about to be brought all the way low when these judgments really start wrapping around them like like a damn bathroom they gonna escape it and just so y'all brothers remember remember we came out and did that video about the horrible stuff mm -hmm. falling yeah, that was prophecy right and now we here doing a video on the wall which prophecy is clearly showing itself this year's what year gotta be years later right this years later, right? And we still hear him speaking about the things coming to pass in the scriptures, man. And surely they have came, right? Yeah, but death calm is death calm is gonna happen. If you under, if you understand what we're talking about, death calm is a actual like a radar system that you know shows diagrams of different nations and their nukes and their submarines and their ships. And they're gonna they're gonna let them off, man. Let them off. All right, it's gonna be the great countdown. It ain't nothing, and like I say, ain't nothing, ain't nothing from the holy water. And the holy water can't help you, niggas, man. Jesus, Caesar Borgia. Speaking in tongues. Yeah, speaking in tongues situation. <laughs> it's nothing going to be able to help. But all hell breaks through. These nations are ready. And I'm going to say this. With the markets are where they're at, this is prime time for nations to rise up. That's why you have, now we have this thing. Okay, now we have this thing with China. China wants the territories of Taiwan. Then who's to say next week? Tomorrow, we're gonna have a situation with uh, with little ones. The, what is the, 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 the ones Korea? drawing them up? Uh, no, oh, uh, Israel, Israel drawing out you, you Americans, man. Uh, what a what a what a uh, what a quarrel with fucking uh, what's his name? Iran, man. Hey, earlier this year, uh, the U.S. and Israel did joint airstrike drills to simulate an attack on Iran's nuclear facilities. Backing up what the elder brother was saying, that 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 lease of the flock, drawing them out. Israel, that's what we're waiting for. Eh? The Karagma, and then Israel fitting their part of prophecy and fomenting that war with Iran, which is going to gather the nations down into the Valley of Jehoshaphat, the Middle East, to clash with each other. Right. The markets are high, the bullshit is low. So it's time, it's time for nations to basically take what they can take right now. It's, it's open market, it's open season on everything. When to take all. Huh? <laughs> no. It's, it's open season. Even look at it over here. There's no jobs, okay. No jobs. There's no. There's no. There's no pretty. It's, it's basically lawless right now, man. So it's, it's, it's time for the taking. To be, whatever needs to be taken is going. It's the time for it, man. Straight the hell up. A lot being stirred, like you mentioned in China and Taiwan. Yeah. China just had nine military jets going to on um, Taiwan. Why the shit happened in the Ukraine? In they, Ukraine, they, 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 they and airspace. Man. Yeah, in the airspace, man. You see, so like he said, the weak, the 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 the, the little, everybody is coming out, man. It's gonna be a big. Everybody coming to this party. <laughs> Nobody's getting left out, man. All right, everybody gonna be joined to this party, man. This this party of destruction. I got Ezekiel real quick. This is Ezekiel twelve and twenty one. 
And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is this proverb that ye have in the land of Israel, saying, The days are prolonged, that every vision fell. Tell them, therefore, thus say Yahweh thy power, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But say unto them, The days are at hand, and the effect of every vision. Hey, they, 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 they as it says in Isaiah, hey, let, let the most high do, do something, and then yeah. they believe it, roughly paraphrasing. Yeah. Hey, for the longest time, these prophecies seemed like they were tearing, but as it says in Habakkuk chapter 2, they, they were, they're about to tarry no more. And we're, hey, we're, we're in that time, baby. You see all these prophecies really start to pop off, and Jake, all those proud looks are going to be brought down, and Jake will be able to say, oh, wait, hey, let, let the Most High do it. Hey, you've been talking about World War Three for the longest time. You've been talking about the famines and all that, but I can still go and get a, get a, a pork chop and drink a beer and watch the game. These times are quickly coming to an end to where every idle word you people have been talking against Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shine, the prophets, is going to be a, it's going to have to be accounted for. You're not doing that no more. You're literally making a life decision on making, getting gas or eating. All right? Yep. Paying your rent. How are you going to make the next day? That's how tight shit you get, man. We just in the so-called beginning of the, of the, of the year. Right, we haven't gotten to the deep stages of the summer, right? Well, you really see the effect of things happening because right now we also we in that that time too where you have the winter the winter fuel it's getting burned off. Now we get into that summer fuel, you're gonna really see the price of spike. Gone. Right? And they got you know they got brothers in Cali showing gas six twenty nine up there. <laughs> Then uh, yeah, another place seven dollars and shit, man. You Jake, you can get ready for that shit. Especially you down south, Jake. You just ride around and burn gas all day. You just look at hoes, go to Walmart and walk around and holler and get numbers. You niggas ain't ready for that shit. That damn old ass Chevy Tahoe. They only get three miles a gallon and the gas got them ten dollars. You're not ready for that. Ten dollars a shit, seven, six dollars to break you Jake's down, man. And like I said, this this burden that went in the stores. I didn't see. I didn't recently see shit. The price of the price of meat. Because guess who? who guess who? Guess who? One of the main characters controls the gas, the fuel, the bill. Yeah. The bill. I ran the same ones. They want to come up and and, and control and, and put a central bank in there with the with the elites. They're the ones that control all the gas and shit. Huh? He don't know what's going on. Nah, he don't. No one does he cares. Clues. You know, man. That's that's that, that Ezekiel twelve you just brought out. <laughs> hey, look, but <laughs> when, when when will these things that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah come to pass? Hey, they're gonna come to pass like a thief in the night. Catch you with your pants around your ankles. I don't feel bad, man. I'm all for the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shah through through Russia or whoever. I want the, I want the Lord to make this this place here. Imagine the one I want this motherfucker to become a. 1500 mile fucking crate in the ground, man. I want mine, man. You know, all this is, all this is, is culminating to the kingdom coming about, man. Which is all, it's a win win for us, man. Kind of. Yeah, they, they, uh, they said that in that Isaiah, you see the ball. Let them make haste. Let them, let the word of the Lord make speed, man. Well, you going to say it. This is Matthew 24, yeah. was on 11. Kind of, kind of. And many false prophets shall rise and, and shall deceive many. Hey, we're seeing that. These uh these other camps out here. Some you can tell clearly took the bag who are deceiving, deceiving these jakes that the most high didn't want and bringing them to their own destruction. And hey, amongst these these uh these government officials, these presidents and all that deceiving the people. Keep going up. And First. because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. That word iniquity goes into lawlessness, which is ultimately the lawlessness of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. But hey, even the lawlessness of these governments out here, what have you seen? A lot of cops leave the job due to the crag em up in mandates and uh, the, the fund the police thing and all these new uh, regulations coming to them have made them leave the job. And a lot of them are already a part of militias. So they're joining those militias, which, which are going to turn around and attack you jakes with. But hey, the police force out here is getting emptier and emptier to the point or they're having to bring in the National Guard to take your kids to school, work at the hospitals, even be substitute teachers. You don't even know what's going on with that, man. Yeah. 
one day your kids gonna get on that bus and never come back. Oh. And they gonna tell you, and they gonna tell you they, they are probably the United States of America, man. Mm-hmm. And they, they gonna direct you to the local the local uh fever camp, man. Yeah. You don't know that you don't know that they got threats all around you right now as we speak, man. Right? It's like they got they got uh they got stories coming out about how even within Ukraine itself. Russia been having the troops living in there without them even know. Yeah. And it just, it just, they attacking it from all sides, but then mm-hmm. in on the outskirts, just like over here. We they told you before, they got troops here in America. They got troops, they got militia groups. We're talking about train militias. Blackwater. Blackwater, you you name them, they over here in, yeah, in yeah. America. They, they was down here in New Orleans weeks before Katrina even happened. Yeah. And they've been there since then, since then, yeah. too. Yeah. Working. In the, in the shadows, looking like they're working regular jobs and shit, reporting to the reporting to certain warehouses and facilities that look like a damn dump. But oh. actually, it's, 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 they got they got they got a whole goddamn computer screens. Uh, what do they call that shit? Uh, they call it something. They call it like a temple. Such a nervous system. They got like computers and oh, monitors okay. and all the shit. Lay out to the city where they're going to attack at and shit, man. They got this shit already set in your major cities, too, Jay. You know, the person you could be standing in line behind the grocery store could be yeah. a full mercenary, yeah. cold blooded killer. Up in Colorado, they got a lot of these foreign troops up there. And I, think, I think this brother showed a video on Twitter, and other person showed videos. You people up there, I want you to go home. When you at home, or you at home now, when you watch Ukraine, you see shit hitting the cities. You see shit on fire. Think of that. Think of that as your city, man. That's how it's gonna look. That's how your city. Man, all that shit go down. That's how your city gonna look before the nukes hit it, man. People trying to get out. You see y'all? Y'all see the crawls and cars on the highways in Ukraine trying to get out of that business? Yeah, stuck. 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 That's how your city's gonna look, man. Hey, because iniquity or lawlessness shall abound. Lawlessness on these streets, which we can especially see down here in New Orleans. We have the news break app, and people are getting. Getting, bang. getting flat, flat getting three to the head like a bowling ball every damn day. Women on exempt. Women are getting jacked up over in Los Angeles. They got professional, they got professional, professional theft and burglary, t- burglary teams that just walk into the store in broad daylight, break the, break the the jewelry cases open, take that shit and get out of there, taking eight eight million dollars at a time out of a store. I had a brother, one brother from Houston hit me up. He was- he was texting me. He was saying how the crime is the crime that went sky high out there. You get your you get your soul snatched from you out there, man. That's how bad it is. And them motherfuckers advance when it comes to when it comes to the criminal underworld, man. Yeah. Yes, so, indeed. With weapons and shit too. Weapons, they everybody. Hate everybody. They like yeah. an independent state. Yeah. You know, in their own sense, like it, it's it's next level out there in Texas. Man. You Jake's living in. I'm gonna tell you where it's bad at. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad all over, but Texas, Arizona, you Jason in Denver and Oregon, and possibly Utah, you got something to worry about. Oh, especially oh, Oregon. Oh, shit, yeah. That that Pacific Northwest is is the biggest shit. area full of neo Nazis and skinheads. Jason and, and uh, you Jacob there up there in uh, Michigan, man, you got something to worry about. Yeah, that's a whole militia state. Now that man, I'm talking about train. Three percenters, as they call them, constantly doing those drills in the woods, while Jake just just badly playing Call of Duty. Hey man, if you ain't a man of law, the Lord, the Lord ain't with you. You can you can tuck your tail and kiss your ass goodbye, man. Uh, it's over for you. Uh, Good riddance to you, man. And you won't be missed, as it says in Second Esther chapter eight. The the grape of the vine that 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 that, that the Most High took as the elect, and then the rest were born in vain. The other guy, this fucking other guy, man, he used to be in the camp. It's Amazon, man, you can, you can, you can, it's a rap on you. Yeah, with Amazon, man. Amazon, man. You know, it, it's not even worth even say your name. You finished, man. You, oh, I'm the guy that fell off, man. It's always. Hey, you remember me? Remember me? I fell out of the truth. Yeah, it's always for you, man. Hey, you're doing deliveries, but the Most High's about to deliver you straight to the spirit world. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's the it's totally in the world, man. 
the Babylon for where it rolled a day. Yeah. Babylon <laughs> with the crew of chaos too. Yeah, <laughs> the crew of chaos on the motherfucker. And mutants, and mutants, and mutants. Yeah, mutants. Pure demons, pure there. demons, bro. Yeah, Jake, you you back in the world, man. You probably at the parade right yeah, now. Yeah, the parade. Oh, he definitely at the parade. Looking like a hot boy Ronald and shit. <laughs> he definitely at the parade. Really your goddamn mouth, man. Like Cheeto. Yeah, we're in the we're in the times of all the Lord finna pay back a lot of a lot of the wicked, man. Mm -hmm. No? Yeah, yeah. It says, but he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. Maybe. Read verse 14 too, but as it says, but he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. Putting all your trust in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and enduring all things like a good soldier. As it says in uh, Revelation chapter 2, verse 10, endure all these things to the death, if need be, and you shall receive that crown of life. This is the time to be getting weak out here. We, we know that we're going to go through some straits, but we come too far to give up. We come too far to give up that, that chance of getting that crown placed on our head by Yahweh Shai. So just endure anything that comes your way. And besides, what do you got to look back to in this world but destruction, adulterous women, poison food, pedophiles, Edomites ruling over you, all that. They say strive for the truth unto death and the law to fight for them. So that's what we're expecting to be our sword and what's coming because there's no way to battle what's coming, man. If you try to battle what's coming, that means you're battling the law because the law has the evil day coming. So that's this. if you're getting ready to prepare to fight or, 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 or die, yeah, physical battle. a physical battle, you done, man. The scripture says something about a wise man hiding himself when, when the, uh, for seeing the evil and hiding himself. Yeah. Prove, man. yeah, so you need to hide yourself in his word. And actually, I'm not trying to get in. The, you got you got trying some guys. Period. You try. You got some guys out here. That when they see it, they see some shit. They, they trying, gonna go they to trying to engage with. Yeah, it. they tripping. They trying to get, engage with shit, man. <laughs> they didn't think this call of duty. Everybody in life think it's really the call of duty on the game. They thinking they can respawn and shit, man. Yeah, it's real life. Yourself. They're never gonna get hit. Oh, I'm untouchable. <laughs> you get hit with that uh that miles around, around. you through, man. <laughs> he said a miles around. Yeah, miles with it. Just send, send him to the moon. Oh to man, the, that's shit. Yeah. Miles around and blow your ass up. Yeah, you're in John Wick, man. This ain't this not listen, this not a movie. All right. This is this is it's not you can't respawn. Yeah, all right, you only get it. one shot at this, man. And the only shot we got is this. Stop listening to Soulja Boy and YB <laughs> and uh, Quando Rondo and Lil, Lil yeah. Durk and them, because them niggas don't want no smoke with each other. Yeah. Stop listening to them niggas and talk about that uh that that that, that slime talking shit, man. Yeah. All right. Let's look at this brother show a video of some some what the fuck that was? The Edomite. Yeah. You ain't ready for that shit, man. Yeah. Look is. over there. Just watch it. And that's light, Jake. Get your get your noodles, get your cereal, sit your ass down and watch the news. Go go watch some real, real news. Uh Telemundo, El Zero, Euro News. They'll show you what's going on over there. Yeah. You don't want none of that smoke if it came to you like that, man. These motherfuckers got explosives. These motherfuckers, man, they got jets flying over the house. You can see the shit coming out of that bitch. Yeah. Blowing up, rocking the house and shit. Chemical weapon and shit. Oh, what is it right here? Oh, man. You got to flip man. Oh, yeah. Trip out. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he. I'm going to punch him out. <laughs> yeah, just keep, keep, keep going, partner. <laughs> he ain't got to fight. Hey, hey, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. He ain't going to do that. He ain't going to do that. Go ahead, man. He ain't want to smoke. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead about your business. Skin your ass. Skin that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Look at that. He's getting out of here. I'm going to ring your fucking neck with that. Uh, That's his dog? Yeah, he better get him, man. He can get it, too. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he like, he got something scrapped on him, too. Man. He don't even look like one of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it says, and this gospel, the king, you're gonna be looking, man. Real quick, that's, that's, that's a lower code. That's how you can't skip, be yeah. looking, man. <laughs> hey, real Mal sure. nutrition, yeah. it's done. Yeah, Shit, the dog's gonna be. What is the he same? Got, Jer he, got, he got all the way out of here. What's the same? <laughs> Jeremiah 15, I'll point the dogs to tear. Yeah. That dog gonna be eating a lot of you niggas guts out in that day. Are you big booty black women, man? The bubble guts. You ain't gonna be able to run all that, all that goddamn ass, man. All that ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the <laughs> <laughs> yeah the fucking the soldiers that's gonna be over here. You ain't gonna be able to run, man. Why do you niggas and gain so much weight? You ain't gonna be able to hop a gate, man. Squeeze through the, squeeze through a fucking uh, 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 the storm drain. Yeah. Where Jay gonna run that in the hood? 
nowhere. Every house is next to each other. The backyard yeah. is as big as where we at. Yeah. They can't go no, ain't no dungeons. You can't go nowhere, Jake. When the people bliss this bitch, man, they gonna they gonna leave one stone unturned. Yeah, that's it, man. One stone ain't gonna be unturned, man. They gonna come in block for block, man, in, in rows and order. And you saw you the niggas, purge. A lot of you niggas don't even know how to get the fuck on out of your own city, man. Main streets, yeah. they don't know back streets or nothing, man. Yeah, weirdo, bro. That dude, yeah, he a weirdo. Man. Yeah, we about to get out of here anyways. So uh, it says in this gospel, the kingdom shall be preached in, in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then the end shall come. What are you seeing? The end coming. Why? Because you've got the prophets of the Lord, chiefly through GMS, from one end of the earth even unto the other, preaching the words of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, pushing out that vibration of the end and heralding in Yahweh Shai's second coming. And if you're in your right mind, there wouldn't be any other place you, you'd want to be but being a prophet of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, standing right. ten toes down, pushing this work, making your calling and election sure. But as for everybody else out there, Hey, it's about to be judgment time, like Judge Dredd said. Yeah, once yeah. the Lord shut the prophets off, then the destruction coming. He said, uh, sell the elect, hold back the four winds. Once they sell, let the destruction hey, come, man. What, what, what's been going on now with all this Russian stuff going on? They've been also, they've been also gathering different bills up to have a uh, little free, free speech talk. It's going to be labeled yeah. as hate speech. Yeah. So we're not going to be out here preaching to you. We're not going to be on this, on this, uh, this, this. This outlet called YouTube anymore. Because or go on the highways and byways. Right, because they're gonna actually cut this shit off, man. What you think? The first as, as you've seen the last couple of conflicts in Hong Kong, Ukraine, different other places, the first thing they go is the first thing that these these, these uh the government do, they attack they attack social media, they attack the avenue to, to speak out and say what's going on, the yeah. show. The going the it's gonna cut it off. They're gonna put jammers on it, they're gonna cut the shit off, man. You a lot of you jigs think. I believe in, in a lot of you Jake's head, you believe that the Lord Lord's gonna be so relaxed but you can get on your you can get on your MT T phone. Yeah, cell phone. Yeah. Get on your laptop. No, it's not gonna be none of that shit, man. Jake thinking. Oh, I got a I got a I got a video to show you, brothers, too. It's some niggas on the Breakfast Club talking about Ukraine and Russia. You that nigga that snake nose Charlemagne nigga don't know what the <laughs> fuck going on, man. You know, them niggas don't know what's going on in the world, bro. Yeah, they wear makeup. And they said, "What I'm gonna do about what about they cut off social? What about you have a cyber attack? Yeah. They cut off social media. That's your first concern. How do you wear the stores? Yeah, true. Niggas is true, man. Man, Adam, that's gonna be a beautiful day when, yeah. when judgment comes to the whole Breakfast Club. Yeah, man. So them niggas make they living, like you say, social media. That social life. That shit was a privilege, man. Yeah. All right, it never was granted unto you, man. It was never was given us. You had a." a a small permission to go do you know whatever it is and really they did you that to occupy your stupid ass keep you entertained why they set up these things like what you see now man make you a vain narcissist yeah. only caring about your your life and, and the likes and the clicks and while they're both while they're stacking up the bullets and the bricks yeah you know, you know from a couple of years ago Charlotte Maynard got no hand-to-hand -hand combat at right. all they take <laughs> all running Take out fucking right. Yeah, it's just count back. Shit, that nigga don't got me real eyebrows either. Yeah, that other, that other, that other beige nigga up there. Envy. Uh, NJ Envy, he ain't ready for shit. <laughs> that nigga look like he had a fight in his life. Yeah. Man. Not one fight, man. No, nah, man. You nigga, ain't, you ain't no real. You ain't got, you ain't got calluses in your on your hand. Your nigga's hands ain't hard, man. Let me oh. nigga ain't pick up tools and done shit in your life, man. <laughs> Jake be talking that. Talking that he be talking that shit too, like he ready, he ready with the yop sticks and shit. Yeah. Man, you niggas ain't ready to do nothing, man. Let get real out here. Talking about John Wick. He be talking that John Wick talk. He ain't, not, he ain't done shit, man. They are not gossiping with Angela Lee. Who yeah, gonna man. take you serious? Yeah, uh, 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 dark skin more but <laughs> one of these Russians come in this bitch. Who, <laughs> it's it's fucking freezing cold year round in Russia, man. I'm fucking. That's different dark. type of Edomites, huh? Yeah, Some of them Edomites. That's Edomites. different Edomites, there, brother. Some of them take ice baths. So yeah, cold. Yeah, yeah. Some of them in the cold, cold zero degree <laughs> weather just dump, dunking themselves in ice yeah, cold water. Oh, cold does the zero. The it, fucking it, all year, yeah, all year round. It never warms up in Russia, bro. Come on, man. That's a different, like it's you said, different, that's a different breed of different breed of Edomite. He say he say you uh, Americans are uh, privileged. Y'all got it, you know. Yeah. He said, "Y'all got it easy over here." He said, "They can say they poor. They yeah, got a cell phone poor. in the car outside, man. Yeah. Say they poor. They poor. You ain't seen poor. You ain't seen shit yet, man. All right? 
But you niggas dealing with in the hood is gonna look like a look like a dead Chuck E. Cheese, man. Ooh. What's really getting ready to come? Right? You're gonna really see poor and anguish and, and travail out here, man. Right? And we hey man, it, it is what it is. Cut the lights off, man. Turn the water off. Fuck it. You need the water turned off, man. Half you niggas ain't paid the water bill, and half you niggas ain't paid the child support. Fuck y'all, man. <laughs> they exactly. niggas, man. They running they tussles like that, that anyway. They just hey, had the water off. Hey, we, hey, we, yeah, man, Lord, we working for all that shit to happen. Fuck it, yeah. All of this, fuck it, man. Hey, when uh, they were talking about, I was reading an article that one of the brothers posted where, uh, where Biden was looking over recommendations on cyber attacks to do on Russia and talked about Russia's cyber attack retaliations, and they said they could do something similar to that, that, uh, keep that, uh, colonial pipeline when they shut down the gas you remember when that happened God. people were going crazy uh, running the stores and, and, and uh pretty much taking all the gas out of the pumps and putting them in any container they have yeah hey, that's and a bags and plastic bags <laughs> i'm gonna say this yeah i remember that shit I remember that you, shit. in the back of your trunk you pouring gas in a, in a fucking plastic bag i'm gonna say this man what, what's so sad oh, by the time you niggas find out, by the time you jinx man i'm talking about the whole house but time you find out what's going on it's gonna be all the way over with already yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be old with our late. Either might see, late. Either might see different. They know what's going on. You Jake's gonna be the last one to find out. And it's gonna yeah. be you know, you know already went through the stop sign, you hitting the brick wall by now. It's over. Yeah, yeah. You're right, man. Because these people got people inside the Costco. Hey, come get a pallet. Hey, come get it. Yeah. Come they know the people, yeah. they know the managers yeah. there. Bill, Bill Bill Spring, that's the manager of Costco. Hey man, the shipment's getting light. You might want to come and get yeah. these cases. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, everybody gonna be in, in that fucking mood, man. I don't know what's going on. God, the, the, yeah, man. God, that, this is this is <laughs> this is time in. That's that exactly what you're talking about. That's time in. Go down. That's what yeah. he said. This is a story of things that have happened in the past, <laughs> things that are happening right now, yeah. and things that will happen. A real vivid, <laughs> <laughs> a, a, but it's that freaking that freaking voice. Too, it's deep, yeah, it's real detailed, dude. Yeah. If you notice. Know the, the the incline where the decline of it from where it started to where it ended up, man. It ended up at in hell, man. I so now listen to your boy at your spot. He's I'm listening to I'm sitting there listening to the nigga. No, even my he talking about the prediction of this summer. And, <laughs> man, you ain't making that shit, man. I'm looking at him like he ain't about to, he make, ain't that about that to make that shit. What is in their heart, dude? It's yeah. in their heart. They believe that. Yeah. You crazy. More well, likely the C19 would be over with, so we were looking at some. Yeah. Prominent number, man. I'm like, you ain't making that shit. <laughs> yeah, this one economist on there Done. who's talking about things going bad, but he, he literally, his proud ass literally said this, but I'm not worried. I've been stalking up gold and silver and food, man. This dude, yeah, man, come on, you stupid. Go turn in gold in that day. Somebody gonna, somebody gonna snipe you from three blocks down the street, man. Somebody gonna tear your head off, running this bitch. And turning that shit in. And, and dumb dumb, do you not forget that you put your face on there stupid. saying, oh, I'm prepping. Oh, I'm a prepper. Look at my stocks in the bag on the yeah. video. You think hey, people don't know up. where you live? Hey, man, them niggas on the internet. They, 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 hey, them niggas on the internet. Bad. They can find out where you stay at, man. They can find out where you at, man. You know, somebody Easy, know man. somebody. This shit, man. Plotting as we speak. Yeah, Jake, uh, eat hoarding up treasures. That's gonna be. They're going to split it amongst the poor, man. Mm -hmm. They heaping treasures for the last days. But again, that's making them a target, man. Yeah, the righteous go find it. The middle yeah, of the righteous gonna on your house. Throwing on your stash. The Lord, pot, the angels gonna kill your ass and let us get it. And be eating your shit, man. <laughs> shit, you died on the way back to your house when shit went down. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna be an asshole too. Lord will, I'm gonna be an asshole and I'm gonna eat your shit while you land over there you want to. Can't eat it anyway. Yeah. I'm gonna die with your mother. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just put the brown in your mouth. Just leave it there. I'm gonna be an asshole in that day, man. I'm gonna laugh at you, black ass women. The wicked of you, black women that's hollering up the street, running, you niggas in, in destitute, don't Should know that. I'm gonna laugh, man. Shit, we laughing at that Edomite that got ambushed by ISIS in, in Togo. Ah, right. ah. Yeah. yeah, man. And they showed you an example of uh, that in the road. They they hadn't been eating throughout the whole movie, and they stumbled across stumbled across an underground bunker for deck the shell stacked with food that's what's gonna be he, yeah. he ain't making it in nah, <laughs> nigga on the holly man looking like a damn look like some shit from out of space man that nigga ain't gonna make it man listen to the doctor quick, John. Quick, quick. this job 27 to 16 it says do he heap up silver as the dust 
and prepare ramen as the clay, he may prepare it, but the just shall put it on, and the innocent shall divide the silver. There you go, man. Yep. And all you preppers out there, thanks for uh, thanks for getting Holding our water down. and our food ready. Holding <laughs> it down, man. Excuse me, excuse me. I can find a warm seat right now. You know, some of them are on the other side of the goddamn nigger ain't gonna eat my food. Yeah. <laughs> it says, I'm gonna jump to 20. Terrors take hold on him as waters and tempest, a tempest stealing him away in the night. Hey, <laughs> hey those those floods in Isaiah 59, <laughs> those troops and all those calamities coming down, hey, we're gonna have that standard set up. But as for you, those floods are gonna wash you away. Yeah, how you, how you gonna get caught? Yeah. Yeah, too. You got, you got some eat them, you eat them, might expect you, man. Some of, some of you niggas, too, with them old. The more goddamn uh, academy ass guns you got, you know you know you niggas ain't gonna be no, at the Amazon. house when that shit goes. Wake around, you won't be at work at FedEx, Amazon, somewhere. Yeah. You let the gun at the house <laughs> that day. Yeah, you <laughs> niggas gonna, you're not gonna even be nowhere around that shit. That's why I said that, that the tempest and the storm gonna take your ass away, man. Yeah, the waters. What the fuck going on? Why is all this traffic? And you gonna see a motherfucker <laughs> with some big. Pop, 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 big shack shit. Not gonna Damn, that was, <laughs> get out of there. Get out of there. I gotta get out of here. Hit your ass up in the car. Shit. You, 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 Jake's on here, man. It's about to get real vicious out here, man. They might have one of them robot dogs come up with a damn gun on his back. And he's gonna do that. He's gonna, dude, we got a problem type of lean on that bitch. Tell your ass up, man. Like you, you niggas don't know how vicious about to get, man. The most high about to get ill out here, man. All right? That last ass whooping, that last uh, correction. From the most high through men, it's gonna happen, man. And it's like you say, a lot of you Edomites say, uh, over, yeah, Adam, I, over my, uh, my, oh, my dead, dead body. body. Come that's take what it. they want. Come take it. That's that's the plan exactly. Yeah. Yeah, man. They're gonna come take it, for real. All you militias and shit, uh, come take it, you minute men. What else they got out here? Neo Nazis. Yeah, you, uh, new, new Black Panther Party. All you about, all you about to get pressed, man. You, uh, in there, y'all ain't hear about you niggas no more. Uh, not they've, wrong. they've been disbanded. Yeah, man. All you niggas finna get blitzed, man. All right, you, you D boys, you, uh, you all, you niggas that's all about your family. Protect my family. You gonna, we got to see how much you about to protect your family, man. Is your family gonna protect you? Real quick, Uncle Earl gonna come take that shit from you, man. You know you're a dumbass already sleeping with your wife under your nose while you're going to work. You're going to come kill your ass, man. <laughs> he's going to come take he gonna come take what he thinks is rightfully his. Yeah. yeah he's just walling out, bro. Isaiah 3 and 11. It says, Born to the wicked, it shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hands shall be given him. Exactly. Born of his hands. And all, all that wickedness you've been committing, thinking you've been getting away with it, and you reward. It's gonna be 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 yeah, e equal to, equal yeah. to that. That judgment is gonna be be the judgments for all that wickedness, all these calamities we've been talking about. And these niggas out here come on the lake where we at to do the booty, all right? And while they doing the fucking booty, uh, 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 M rap on, get on up out of there, buck naked and all, man. All right? They just gonna wet the fucking car, man. You gonna see Jake make the new buck naked, man. All right, the law gonna kill the law gonna kill the most the, the, a, a great percentage of the world. You know, Two you know, thirds down there. You know something else too? I'm talking to this about somebody or whatever. Cause somebody was asking me earlier about uh about a lot of you celebrity Jake. Them like them Russians over there. If you if you had if you had a Jake that's a celebrity over there in Ukraine right now, he don't they don't give a fuck kill his ass. They don't give a fuck yeah. about that. The Russians even made a list of Ukrainian uh LGBTs and all them alphabet they yeah, wanted yeah, people against the government. government. Kill them. <laughs> he ain't got to make a list. They got to make a hit list. Yeah. That's a hit list. I, I was listening to NPR before I came uh, yeah. to link up with the brothers, and you had some Ukrainian chick saying, oh, we will stand strong against Russia. And uh, the interviewer mentioned to her, oh, have you heard about those lists? Those lists over there, dissidents against Russia? And she kind of quiet for a bit. It's like, yes, I've heard about the lists. Yeah, I know you did. They got a list. They got a list for a lot of you jakes, man. A lot of you celebrities and shit that's been on the team. You've been holding down, right? You've been, you've been, you've been pledging for the boule. You've been pledging for the, for the uh, Masonic, the Masonic players. They're gonna kill a lot of you niggas too, man. 
going to put a, like I said, three holes in your head like a bowling ball, man. You drink your blood out of that. Yeah. And so Rocket says, when a rich man has need for you, he's going to use you. But when he's done with that, he's going to cast you to the side. They get out. They're going to go. They gonna do some shit that Jay, all you Jay Z's and like the brother said, all you upper echelon Michael Jones and shit, they got some special shit for y'all, man. Yeah, a lot of you niggas think you gonna make it on them, on them rocket ships and them, yeah. and them underground yeah. bunkers. Each way, underground, you ain't gonna make it. Sorry, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, lock the door, man. You a lot of you niggas, you, you think you think little Wayne Cruddy ass gonna make it? You think you think uh, RuPaul gonna make it, man? <laughs> Shit, they ain't even on those lists. Yeah, come on, man. They ain't even giving a consideration. My boy, they're going to really put a dent in his head. You got dents, they ain't going to put a dent in his head, man. No. Young boy ain't getting in no bunker, man. I'm not in no bunker, man. In this Kodak young boy is not. They're not, letting, Lamar. they're not letting Quinn. He bugged out. Kendrick Lamar, scary. Yeah, man. Mary J. Blige. <laughs> I'm nigga scary, man. At the end of the day, you heard why why Mary J. Blige did the Super Bowl? Cause yeah. she was out of money. She <laughs> she, she didn't get paid for that shit. <laughs> she already said she didn't get paid. For it. it's, it's, it's not about getting paid. It's about the what? It's about the, the moment and, 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 and embracing the moment and, and the, 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 the opportunity. Man, fuck all that. I won't get paid, man. Yeah, yeah. Shit, yeah. Shit, you yeah. niggas have had too many too many moments. It's time for you to <laughs> get no more moments. But that that moment of death. That's it. That's the only thing that's coming. Hey, but yeah. ask. Well, one more thing too. I was thinking about because you got you got you Jake's out there. You eating mice and ones with you too. And you gotta understand what these what's, what's going on right now. Just in Ukraine, these people are waking up today, or have woken up in the past couple of hours and went to their banks and can't get the money they out. Can't get no money out. Nothing. Zero. Yeah. Are you ready for that? Are you ready to go to Chase, West Fargo, Capital One, some of the major banks over here, and put your number in? Yeah, I, I, I remember, I remember Jack. Uh, uh, remember uh, Jurassic Park? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> remember that part of Jurassic Park? The fat dude, mm-hmm. the fat dude, the first one. The fat dude tried to uh, leave everybody in there and get out of there. Kind of, kind of. He had the uh, 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 uh. He had the old Matumbo hand, bro. <laughs> yeah, Matumbo fingers. Bro. No, it's, it's yeah. not gonna happen. Ain't no Starbucks. Ain't no getting that Frappuccino in the morning you like True. to go get. They gonna have on guards out there waiting for the. You can't go bet to take your money out. Yeah. Or they say they just say Russia and wipe the shit clean. What about everybody that tomorrow become on a plan even field? Cyber right? attack. The cyber attack is wiping everybody's bank accounts out. Everybody just got yeah, zero. zero. Yeah, everybody even. Now. You just gonna hear a lot of pops. Niggas just gonna yeah. lose their mind, bro. They gonna shoot themselves. Greg, your suicide gonna go up by the. It's gonna increase at a hundred, a hundred and fifty thousand, man. Shit, it's already been going up. Yeah, for the season, they the off the bridge. The first week, they off the bridge. Why diving off that shit, man? They ain't flipping off the bridge. <laughs> yeah, bro. <sighs> they had so many people jump off the bridge. They they killed themselves in style. Yes. Like what the fuck? Like they and they made it public, man. All over some bullshit. All over <laughs> bullshit, bro. <laughs> you you don't crazy. know what season or what time we're in, man. Shit, man. Yeah, yeah, bro. Oh. Man. With that, <laughs> as as for us in our house, we're gonna, gonna lean on your hobble by his show. We have a shot. That's it. So we we can we can have that protect. Hope to have that protective edge over us, Abarat design. But as for the rest of you people, hey, it's about to be a curtain call for you. But with that. We hope you sincere Akim and Aqua were edified by this live lesson. And again, as always, we're going to give all praises, glory, and infinite honors to so Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakah Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. And peace and salutations to you, sincere Akim out there, pushing this word and truth and sincerity to the four corners of the globe. May your brothers and them to the end. Shalom. Shalom.